Okay, example three, it says given triangle ABC, notice ABC is marked with the right angle C. What is CD? What are AC and BC? All right, so we're trying to find out the measure of CD, we call that X. AC, we call that Y. BC, we call that Z. All right, so there's three unknown values here. And you'll notice um, this time, going back to the last problem we were talking about, this, the Pythagorean theorem was usable. This problem, Pythagorean theorem, is not usable, right? We don't have enough information, all right? Um, we only have one side of the right triangle, and I have one side, and then we only have one side for the big one. All right, if I were to redraw this picture, I know that this angle here matches angle BCD, and this angle here matches angle DCA. All right, so this triangle is similar to that triangle, similar to the whole big triangle, same as the other problems we've seen today. Um, if I were to draw these two pictures here, just the, the two pieces here, let's just say this one, which has a 6.4 length side here, that's A and D and C, right angle here, one mark there, two marks here, uh, this is X, this is Y. And I draw a BDC same way. I'm going to take uh, BDC. This is 3.6. This is a right angle. This has two marks. This has one mark. This is X. This is Z. Okay. I'm not even going to look at this right now. I'm just going to look at those two to start off with. Okay, what I want you to recognize here is that 6.4 opposite the two mark angle should correspond to x opposite the two marked angle and x opposite the one marked angle should be corresponding to 3.6 the one marked angle because again they're congruent by angle angle similarity now you'll notice there are two letters there but they're the same letter that's workable okay if you have multiple letters happening in your problem, but they're the same letter happening, it's a workable scenario. So with that in mind, if I set up a proportion here to represent what's going on, and I put the measurements from ADC on top, I'm going to put 6.4 and X on top. I need to put the measurements from triangle BDC on the bottom, but in order of, of similarity. So 6.4 matches up to X and X matches up to 3.6. Okay, just to highlight where, where these things are coming from so there's no confusion because we've got a couple X's. This is this 6.4, this is this X, this is this X, and this is this 3.6. All right, so 6.4 from the left triangle over X from the right triangle equals X from the left triangle over 3.6 from the right triangle. All right, so left and right hand side, what's going on there? Wait, why are the... You sure? Okay. But again, all this stuff over here, since we're using the same letter X twice, there's no problem in a proportion, as long as we only have a single variable happening, it's workable, yes? What would you, what if someone put the X on the same side, that just wouldn't be right then, would it? I, the, the proportion requires that, like there's one X and one, one X, X and the other, so the measurements from one triangle on top, the other triangle on the bottom, and then the corresponding pieces have to match up too. So if you ended up with X over X over here, that means you probably have something marked wrong in your picture. Okay, this is a pretty typical scenario that happens a lot in these problems. So um, usually the X's are diagonal to one another if you're doing it right. If not, you probably have one of your angles marked wrong possibly or some correlation figured out improperly. Like you think that maybe this matches up to that because they're both numbers, but this is opposite one mark, that's opposite two, so they don't correspond really. So th that type of misunderstanding might occur. What? Angle A is equal to angle. This angle here, angle A matches angle C. Right this angle always matches that angle. And this angle always matches that angle. You go across the altitude every time. So you look at the original picture to know what goes in where. So when I first I mark the original picture correctly, and then when I redraw the picture, I put the same number of marks where they belong. This has one mark, one mark, two marks, two marks. One mark, two marks, one mark, two marks. So I match them up with the original picture. But again, 
there's always that correspondence. This angle would go across the altitude. That angle would go across the altitude. Once I get this proportion set up properly, if I cross multiply, I'm going to get x times x, which is x squared, equals 6.4 times 3.6 which is 23.04. And if x squared equals something, x equals the square root of that something, so square root of 23.04 is 4.8. So both the x's are the same, they're both 4.8. So question A, what is CD? CD equals 4.8. Question B and C, what are AC and BC equal to? Okay. Once I know that DC is 4.8 in the left triangle over here, Pythagorean theorem says that Y squared should equal 6.4 squared plus 4.8 squared. Calculator can evaluate that for us. So 6.4 squared plus 4.8 squared equals 64. So y squared equals 64, which means y equals what? 8. eight. And y is the measure of AC, so AC equals 8. If I do the Pythagorean theorem on BDC, leg, leg, hypotenuse, z squared equals 4.8 squared plus 3.6 squared. I do 4.8 squared plus 3.6 squared, I get 36, so z is equal to 6. How'd you get 20, 23.04. X squared equals 6.4 times 36. Once you get your proportion created, the cross multiplication gets you the simplified expression without fractions, and then you solve.